All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at my first year in electrical engineering and how I did. The main reason why I do this is as a way of stepping back and looking at my year from the outside, hoping to learn a bit about myself and maybe take some benefits from how well I did, some of the things I could work on, etc. So I think it's something important to do. I always do this whenever I finish something, I go back and look at how I did Try to look at it objectively and hopefully use it as a springboard to move on in life and do better next time. So for reference, first of all, here are the modules that I studied and here are the grades that I got. So in terms of rank and order and as it relates to how well I did per module, the best module I did was computers and engineering, which I got 88% in. Second best was engineering design project and I got 87% in that. Third module was computer systems architecture and I got 83%. Fourth Digital Electronics, 83%. Fifth, Electrical and Electronics Principles, 81%. Sixth, Engineering Systems and Data Acquisitions, 77%. So I'm going to go over my feelings about each module from top down. I'll just briefly touch on what the module was about. Starting from Computers and Engineering, so bear in mind I got 88% on that module. I genuinely loved that module. It was very heavy in C programming and software development based. There was a lot about computer history. It was the theory side of things was all software development. What are the different, you know, agile and the, the various different software development methods, waterfall method that they use. And I get that that could be quite boring, but for some reason I seem to just enjoy programming and the history of programming. Yeah, I greatly enjoy it. So I enjoyed both the theory side of that module and then just the, the heavy C programming. So we had to, I ended up programming in C a console application to, for a bank. I thoroughly enjoyed that. So the only frustrations I really had with the module was me just struggling to understand the C programming language. Other than that, everything was super, super easy. Really, the, the theory was a walk in the park. So I enjoyed that module. No problems with that at all. Nothing that I particularly struggled with. In terms of the second module, Engineering Design Project, which I got 87% in. Again, a lot of fun. Actually, my favorite module. I had to build a robot and then program it in C, get it to follow a line. I've actually got a whole series on this on my YouTube channel, so you can take a look at that. So the practical side of this module was mostly involved in physically building the robot, soldering and the the resistors and the switches, etc., and then programming it in the C programming language. The theory side of things was more just to do with maybe doing a little bit of research about robotics in general and then writing a report on it, which again I'm a big fan of writing reports. I can do it in my own time, my own pace. I enjoy it. So the module, I didn't struggle with anything, found it an absolute breeze to be honest and I just thoroughly enjoyed it. So initially, the one probably the one thing that I would take away from that module is that when I was sitting in the lectures, I remember being absolutely scared, like a lot of it was just confusing. You know, it was talking about torque, you know, the gear torques. Some of it was talking about the rotation of the odometry discs and how you know, it uses the changing of black and white to determine how far the robots tra traveled, but it was showing all these mathematical equations, and I was just blown away. And I remember sitting in the in the lectures thinking, "I'm going to fail this. There's absolutely no way I'm going to pass this module." And I ended up getting eighty-seven percent. The reason for that was because all of that theory stuff, although it was taught, I didn't use it in the practical side of things. And I didn't need it in the examination or the assessment side of things. So it was a, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And the assessment actually involved doing a presentation as well, which as a sales guy for the last 10 years, I have no problem doing a presentation. So yeah, that, that, that module really favored me. Programming, which I enjoy, and then presentations and report writing. Again, thoroughly enjoyed that. So I enjoyed that module. Again, I didn't struggle with anything other than, me just being scared and lacking confidence in the lectures, which I should remember for next year to to be confident, to be more confident in my lectures and feel like, you know what, this is cool. I'll understand it. Don't worry about it. Uh, next module, computer systems architecture. I got 83%. Again, you know, I really enjoyed this module. It was heavy involved in programming. This, this time it was the assembly programming language on the ARM architecture using the Raspberry Pi. I'd never really... I don't know if I've ever heard of the Raspberry Pi before this module. I feel like I hadn't. No, yeah, I definitely hadn't because one guy in my class had one and I remember him speaking about it and when he mentioned it was 50 quid, I was thinking to myself, what? You got a computer for 50 quid? It's crazy. 
and now I own I don't know probably twelve Raspberry Pis. So yeah, this 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 module this module helped. I I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this module a lot. I I found the ARM assembly programming language super easy to learn. You know, super basic. You just take a number, move it into a register. Take another number, move it into a register. Add them together and stick the result in another register. I it was it was beautiful. I loved it. The part I did actually struggle with this module in terms of the theory side of things. I really struggled getting to grips with how the process and move the information around, especially when it was running the programming. So I really struggled with just getting used to how the program counter, the memory, the register file, and the ALU, how they work together to execute a program. Generally, the whole instruction execution process, it was difficult for me to understand. I'm not, I'm not really sure why, because thinking about it now, I do kind of get it. But so I did really struggle with that. And it's not something that I'm particularly interested in. And I don't think that it's necessary for me with what I want to do in the future. So I'm not sure if it's something that I'll revisit. But I kind of get it. And I feel like I could explain it to a six-year-old. So maybe I know it well enough. Maybe. I suppose. Not to pass any tests on it. But yeah. Cool. So moving on. So the next one was digital electronics. I found this module super, super interesting. You know. It's something that I really, really want to redo. I'd like to just redo the whole module. I didn't do that well on it in terms of um, exam scores. Uh, the module itself involved a lot of building circuits like state counters and half adders. However, what I was really disappointed in was that most of the topics in the module, they were like briefly touched on or just mentioned and not really taught. And I actually really wanted to learn everything in the module, really. So I suppose my main takeaway from the whole module was that now I know how much I don't know about digital electronics and what I would like to learn about it. So it wasn't a waste of time module, but definitely I would like to get back into multi-sim and start building some circuits and then building them actually on, you know, getting a PCB designed and building them actually on a breadboard and then on a PCB. Something I really, really am interested in. And I really would like to learn, especially because I plan on being an actual electrical engineering i don't see how you could be a decent electrical engineer without being good or at least being well grounded in digital electronics so definitely something that i want to relearn revisit and just get the whole module you know down underneath my belt so moving on to electrical and electronics principles one so i actually struggled quite a fair bit with this module it was the circuit analysis module so i enjoyed the content and i actually learned how to do all the different types of analysis like thevenin's and norton's theory but my math skills here just let me down big time. I was constantly making mistakes in my weekly tests and I made a bunch on the final test as well. So I'm doing electrical and electronic principles too next year. So I definitely need to get my math skills up to scratch and that's something that I'm working on this summer. So I've got a, a couple of weeks, a few weeks left now until I start. So this is going to be a module that I'm going to be looking out for next year. And then lastly, the module I did the worst on was engineering systems and data acquisition. It's actually one of the modules I enjoyed the most, funnily enough. I scored badly mostly because in terms of the actual main test, I misunderstood it and I revised for completely the wrong thing. That was kind of my bad. And I think in that sense, I probably needed to communicate more with some of the other guys in my class. And maybe that, that's one takeaway that I could take from this year, which is that maybe if I communicated better, the guys in my class, they completely got it. And literally, it turned out that we was basically being tested on one book. And I studied completely from a different book. And that just completely messed me up. Another thing that what happened here was it was right at the height of COVID. And my mind just wasn't with it. It was more, the exams and the reports were due, I think, like April. And I just remember just going deep into all the COVID stuff. So my mind just wasn't with it at all. The module itself involved a lot of theory behind higher level circuitry, you know, things like is isolating lines or noise, dealing with noise and filters, these kind of things. It had also had a large amount of breadboard circuits, which I thoroughly enjoyed and loved. And it's something that I'm still currently doing this summer. Still, I, I enjoy building a lot of breadboard circuits. So I have that module to thank. Before this module, I'd never actually used a breadboard, funny enough. Another thing that I thoroughly enjoyed with this module is it involved a lot of graphical programming using the LabVIEW application. And I found that, you know, a blast as well. It's so cool how you can use graphical programming to get some basic things done, which again, I really enjoyed. So 
this module again is one of the things that I'd like to revisit and relearn myself in particular more of the theory behind you know like the Wheatstone Bridge isolating supplies these kind of things something that I'd like to learn it's actually especially because eventually I'd like to go deep into like power engineering and definitely I feel like this is one of the precursors to power engineering so it's definitely something that I'd, I'd like to go over all right and that's it I covered all my modules so just talking through all of that my main takeaways from that was clearly I find programming enjoyable and easy probably I find that it just comes naturally to me so the thing is though it's not it's not something that I'd like to get into you know in future in terms of career wise I don't want to be a programmer I also found with pretty much the common theme amongst all of the modules was the theory side of things I struggled with and obviously the math side as well I definitely need to work on strengthening my theory side of things it also looks like the whole practical side of things building a robot building a program building breadboards seems like I, I found the practical stuff easy now I'm guessing that that has something to do with the fact that I'm 28 years old and I left education 10 years ago and so if you've been out of education for 10 years probably you're not going to be you're, you're probably going to be rusty as it when it comes to tests and maths and you know Pythagoras's theorem so me comparing you know my maths versus you know a 19 year old kid who's been learning math straight for the last 15 years you know of course he's going to be far more fluid and fluent so i'm not going to beat myself up too much about that i just need to make sure that i strengthen my own math skills so that this coming year I'll, i won't struggle so much with the theory side of things i feel like you know a year in and now I've, I've now got a year of education under my belt again so hopefully i'm expecting that i'll do a bit better coming year one thing that i'd like to make note of is that i want to make a big effort next year to actively neglect some of the programming side of things maybe just do like the bare minimum because what i don't want is that i don't want to become so good at programming that i'm a programmer with an electrical engineering degree i really don't want to be a programmer i want to be an electrical engineer who can program so that's something i really want to bear in mind i want to get better at the electrical engineering side of things and veer away from the computer engineering side of things obviously i'm not studying computer en computer engineering and i don't see the point in being an electrical engineer with a great who can program i do actually know some electrical engineers that are now programmers and you know they have good jobs and they're paid well but it's not it's not something that i want to do all right well hopefully you enjoyed my review of my first year i actually learned a lot about myself here and i've come to some nice conclusions which i think are definitely going to help me for my second year so if you've just finished your first year or your second year i highly advise doing the same you know write down take a look at your grades write down the modules that you studied and just just discuss it to yourself talk about what you enjoyed about the module what you didn't enjoy about the modules you know what you think you done good in what you think you didn't go, didn't do that great in and you know you'll see just like myself i can see clearly now the theory side of things i suck and the practical side of things i'm flying so yeah i can see definitely now when i look at my modules you know next year i'm going to be able to see a lot easier which i'm probably going to struggle in so in the next video we'll take a look at some of the modules that i'm going to be studying next year and then i'll come up with you know more of a plan maybe i'll analyze some of my skill sets and come up with a plan for the year cool all right so i'll see you guys in the next video peace